Hello everyone, I wanted to kind of give you a breakdown of the average rate of change problem. So you'll notice that you have the graph of the projectile, which is red, and it's parabolic. So for projectile motion, you know that it, things go up and then come back down. So there are actually two places for which the projectile is actually at the height of um, 0.8. And there would actually also be two places where the projectile is at the height of 0.2, but I just didn't want to go through all those different perturbations. So, of course, if you did either of these two, that's fine for me. We're not in a physics class, and I don't expect you to get all the nuances. But I just want you to understand, um, you know, or get some preview from this problem that the average rate of change and the slope of the secant line between two points are exactly the same thing. So this provides you with the opportunity to do that. So I've done two of the possibilities here. One is in green and one is in purple. The first thing that you need to note from the problem is that the heights were given in feet. So one height was 0.2 and then the other height was 0.8 feet. And so you're given the Y and then you have to estimate the X. So if you go from the height of 0.2, let me just add a line here. you kind of would go from this height and then come straight down. And then wherever you hit, that's the T axis because those are times down there on the horizontal axis. You'd have to estimate, and you notice that the tick marks are 0.2 seconds, so it's a little bit more than 0.2, so I estimated that at 0.21 seconds, but you know anywhere around there would be fine. Similarly, for the first 0.8, you do the same thing. You just come straight down to figure out what the T value was so that you'd have the first component of your ordered pair. And that's, uh, let's see, 0 0.2, 0 0.4. Um, and so it's a little bit more than five, a little bit less than six, or so maybe 0 0.55, but somewhere in there, that's fine. And then that you do the same thing for this point over here when we get to that point. So that's how you actually get the ordered pair. Once you have the ordered pair, then you can actually just find the slope of the particular lines. So I'm gonna to move to the next slide and I'll show you where I calculate the slopes. So for the slope of the secant line, then the green, it's 0.8 minus 0.2 because those were the change in the Y, and then 0.55 minus 0.21, that's a change in the T. And hopefully I did my arithmetic correct and I came up with 1.76. So the average rate of change for that green secant line was 1.76 feet per second. So that means we would have this guy over here. Average rate of change here would be 1.76 feet per second. And then if we look at the purple line, we have two different points. So the slope of that secant line would be 0.8 minus 0.2. Still the difference in the y's are the same. But now in the times t, they're different because a projectile would have gone a little bit further um, to start coming down and get back to the 0.8 after it reached its maximum. So that'd be 1.43 minus um, 0.21. If the arithmetic's correct, that's 1.22. Do that division, and there's an average rate of change now of 0.164 feet per second. And so the average rate of change of the purple line was, uh, let me see, I forgot already. It is 0.164, so that is 0 0.164 feet per second. Now notice that I actually write my answers out carefully and in words, and that's what I've always wanted you all to do. So here I wrote it out. The, the average rate of change is 1.76, and I have my units. And then similarly, I did the same thing with the purple. Here, my average rate of change is 0 0.164, and this is what you want to do as well. So here's the solution for that. If you have any questions, I'm just coming. let me know.